Welcome everybody to Google Cloud Innovators and in Telecommunications. I have with me Kandan from our product management team. Kandan, could you introduce yourself? This is Kandan Kadrivel. I'm a group product manager responsible for telecom network automation. Very happy to talk to you today, Brian. So Kandan, you're a veteran of the industry and have been at the on the operator side and have really been into the, the guts of what's happening out there. So we're really fortunate to have you on the team. And, you took on some projects here and, and building some product and really helping shape that. And one of those is the telecom network automation. Could you tell us a little bit more about that product and some of the benefits that you see it can bring? The telecom network automation is a new way of doing the automation. So telecoms has been using automation system, which are very complex and based on proprietary solution, it has a lot of limitation. They have been using the infrastructure as a code uh, which has a lot of limitation, especially they do not support a day to operation. And uh, it creates a lot of complexity for the telecoms. And uh, the architecture that was based on VMs, they primarily uses some multiple automation systems for each domain. For example, one for core, one for RAN, and one for transport network, which makes the automation extremely complex for the telecom, network, for the telecom networks. And uh, the important aspect is that the majority of the configuration management they're using this automation system, and they are not particularly. So all the configurations that are going inside, they are extremely complex. So telecom network automation is based on the project open source NEPHEO, and it completely uses the declarative operation model. And uh, it is a true cloud native solution using Kubernetes. And uh, the user who are looking for a very operational efficiency and reducing the cost, DNA brings everything to them. So, Conan, uh, operational efficiency is obviously uh, hugely in focus here. Um, what what kind of benefits will they see from this? Is it a you know a ten percent increase? Is it twenty? What are we shooting for, and where are we at? with uh, helping kind of prove this out? Yeah, the, the benefits of the telecom network automation comes in the several layers. Uh, it is a, first of all, SaaS-based solution. So customer doesn't need to worry about the completely spinning up a control plane of the automation system. So Google Cloud take care of everything for them and they just have to uh, get on a portal and API and initiate the complete automation for their particular cloud as well as the, the workloads on top of a cloud. And from the benefits, we can talk from a different layers. Uh, starting from the configuration, it uses the Kubernetes resource model that uh, simplifies everything from a declarative approach. And it is mainly based on GitOps model so that all the configuration which has been sent to the systems, they are all maintained with the versioning that is super important for the telecoms. And it supports multiple personas that allows the people to say that, you know, architect, you know, reviewing the configuration, operation people deploying them, and the tier one here managing the entire infrastructure. So it provides you the bells and whistles for the complete security uh, mechanism for the management of the configuration. And as I mentioned on the previous question, it does actually support the day zero, one, and two. This is super important for the telecoms because everything is in one place that they can manage. More importantly, this is a plug and play architecture and it is based on a open source project. And in this case, like a Google Cloud DNA provides an SDK and it comes with the default automation system for the Google Cloud infrastructure and the supply network option but the users can extend using this SDK on any type of automation that they would need, that including the multi-cloud, that including the multi-network functions. So this makes the entire the automation journey for the users very simple and easy, efficient. And when we talk about the percentage of efficiency that we are talking about, the large efficiency that we are bringing into the table for the telecom users. Well, I tell you what, um that efficiency being able to do day zero one and two is extremely important but we've heard open source plug and play many different times throughout our careers right <laughs> and so when you think of that having lived both sides you know you, you and i on the operator side now on a, on a vendor side you talked about project nephew how can open source truly become plug and play and what are we doing within nephew to make that a reality so the industry was lacking uh, a real good cloud native 
uh, domain automation in the telecom area. They, even though there were many open source, but the, none of the open source was truly addressing the telecom network uh, automation areas that uh, they are wishing for. And the Nephew project was started by Google Cloud and uh, many other partners in the industry in 2022. So after that, the 75 plus company come along and uh, brought uh, the least one of this project. Google Cloud provided the seed code. Then the community took over the seed code and they further enhanced it to deliver the release one. The community is working towards the release two. I think to mainly importantly answering your question is that uh, it is based on CRD and operator mechanism of the Kubernetes, which is actually allows to have like the many CRDs and many operators for each domain automation or function of the automation that need to be performed. So community is providing a certain CRDs and operators and uh, and cloud providers and network function vendors and even the telecom providers can actually extend the CRDs and operators to develop many CRDs and operator for the function of the automation that they are looking for. So this makes it very, very powerful and being open so the telecom can clearly understand what configuration is going inside this automation. So this is this makes the life very, very simplified for the telecom. And it also takes away that uh, dependency of this proprietary solution. So given this is open, so they can actually see what how the sausage is made and they can be part of that the sausage making it. Well, being able to be part of it, I know um, from the engineering side, we always like to get our hands on. Uh, the openness is, is critical because the networks and systems are full of uh, a huge ecosystem of partners. So with telecom network automation, uh, Project Nephew. How can people get involved with Project Nephew? One, and then number two, how can they find out more about telecom network automation? So Nephew project is a Linux Foundation networking project now, and we recently made an announcement about that. And uh, the anybody in the industry, either they are telecom providers or a or a cloud provider or the network function provider, they can get involved uh, with respect to this project. Any uh, like any other Linux Foundation open source project, it is free free to participate. And as I said, there's a 75 plus company being involved. Everybody is welcome. And you can look at the wiki page of the NFU uh, that uh, you know provides you all the procedure to get engaged with the details of the calls to you can participate in. And uh, with respect to telecom network automation, and uh, the DNA is based on Nephew, and uh, Google Cloud is one of the largest uh, supporter, along with other cloud providers and the network function providers and cloud, uh, also the telecom providers with respect to Nephew. And DNA is currently in the private preview, and uh, it is going to be a GA very soon by this year. And we are looking forward to support our customers uh, across the globe. And many customers are already uh, conducting a trial with respect to DNA. And if you're interested in the product, we are very welcome to call you in. And there is a product page in the Google Cloud. If you search a telecom network automation, you will land on that page. And there is an email address. You can actually use that to reach out to us. And we're really happy to work with you. Well, Conan, I tell you what, this is really exciting. And you're carrying forth a, a tradition and really a mantra that we have at Google Cloud, which is the open source directive and sharing back with the community for the greater good. And we really appreciate uh, all your efforts here. And uh, thanks for sitting down with us. And that's it for now for Google Cloud Innovators Live in Telecommunications. Thank you, Brian. Thank you.